Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to use the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of a quadratic function. To complete this problem, we'll identify components of our quadratic function, plug them into the quadratic formula, and then simplify the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of the function. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to use the quadratic formula to find the roots of the function f of x is equal to 1 4th x squared minus 2x plus 3. The first thing we need to recognize when we're talking about the quadratic formula is that we can only use the quadratic formula when we have a quadratic function. And in this case, we do have a quadratic function because our function is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the form of a quadratic function. This format for a quadratic function recognizes that there are three constant coefficients. A is a constant coefficient, and in our case, that's 1 4th, which is the constant coefficient on the front of x squared. We have a constant coefficient of b, which is in front of an x to the first variable, and in our case, that's negative 2. It's always important to include the negative sign if it's there. And then we have the constant value here, c, with no x variable attached, and ours, in this case, is just 3. So because we have the same format, coefficient multiplied by x squared plus or minus a coefficient times x to the first power plus a constant, we know that we have a quadratic function. So given that we have a quadratic function with these three values, we can use the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of this function. Normally, given a function like this, our first choice to solve for the roots is just to factor the function, but that's not always possible. And when we can't factor it, one of the things we can do is use the quadratic formula. So as you can see with our quadratic formula, we have the same values shown in our quadratic formula. We have b, we have a, here, and we have c here. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of our function. So we'll say that x, the root of our function, will be negative b. We know that b here is negative 2. Always include the negative sign if it is there. So negative, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared. We know that b is negative 2, so we'll plug in negative 2, minus 4 times a. We know that a is 1 fourth, times c. We know that c is 3. So we enter all those values. That's all underneath our square root sign. And then we divide the entire numerator here by 2 times a. And a in our quadratic function is 1 fourth. So once we have all of our values plugged in, we just need to simplify as much as we can. So we have a negative negative 2, which will give us, a co of course, a positive 2, plus or minus the square root. Negative 2 squared gives us 4. 4 and 1 fourth here will cancel with one another and just become 1, and we'll be left with 3. So we'll get 4 minus 3 underneath the square root sign all divided by 2 times 1 fourth, which will just give us 1 half. When we simplify further, we'll see that we'll get 2 plus or minus the square root of 1, which we know will just be 1, all divided by 1 half. Dividing by 1 half, of course, is the same thing as multiplying by 2, so we'll get 2 times 2 plus or minus 1. So we'll get two roots here for x. We'll get x equals 2 times 2 plus 1, and we'll get x equals 2 times 2 minus 1. The first root, of course, will just give us 6. The second root will give us 2. And that's it. These are the roots of our function. That's how you use the quadratic formula to find the solutions to your quadratic function. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.